In this video, we will do a brief overview of the Carousel web part by Bamboo Solutions. To get us started, I'm going to jump over to a site where I have Carousel all set up. Okay, so here you can see we have Carousel on a page. I have it paused, um, but if I hit play, it'll start to cycle through the images. So in order to take a look at how we set up Carousel or edit an existing Carousel, we need to put the page into edit mode. So I'm going to go ahead and click edit. Here you can see we have the existing carousel web part. Also, if you wanted to add a new one, because you can have multiples on the same page, that's how you would do that. Okay, but we're just going to work with what we have here. So to edit an existing carousel, this is the same deal when you're setting it up, right? So you click the gear icon. Okay. The first thing that carousel wants you to do is to establish a carousel library. So when you're creating it for the first time, you'll have to definitely create a library. Um, this is where it's going to store all your images and all the metadata needed to manage these images. Already I have created a library. You can also have multiple carousel libraries in the same. So I'm going to skip this step because I've already created. As you can see, I can click skip this step down in the bottom right hand corner or I can just click selection at the top. Same deal. So we can load a carousel library from the site collection that we're on or we can load it from a different site collection if we know we have a carousel that we want to use. On a different site collection you would just type in the site collection and then click load carousels. Right now I have carousel demos selected. You'll see the whole list of however many carousels you have created here. Okay then we can either click next down here or we can click add this is where we add and manage images. So as you can see, I have a bunch of just stock images that I pulled off the internet um, in here. They're all free, we're not. This is really where you manage your images and what they do and what they say and how people consume them. We have decided to use SharePoint out of the box functionality for you to manage these images so that it's more intuitive and you don't have to learn like a new system. So when you're editing your images or rather when you're managing the data for your images, you just want to select edit in grid view and then you can update all these properties for your images. So I'll run through them really quickly. Um, body is the text that you can put at the bottom of the image. Um, it's multi-line and it wraps around. Um, if you don't fill anything in on body, it'll just auto-populate with the title of the image. The sort order just defines how you want the images to show up. Um, URL, you can assign a URL to the image. So to so know that this URL will be overlaid on top of the image, not the body text. So you'll get the hover click icon for the image, not the body text. Um, and that is just the same format that SharePoint always uses. Open mode, this is how you define how you want the URL to open. So we have two options. We have open in the same tab or open in the new tab. Button alt text, image alt text, expire date, activation date. These you can fill in and it will pull the image out of rotation at a certain date or put it into rotation at a certain date. Okay, and then once you're done updating your images, you wanna always make sure to hit exit grid view so that it saves the changes, just like any other SharePoint lister library. Over here in settings is where you define how the images show up. So right now I have it set to custom dimensions so it can be small, but you can also set it to adjust width, which means the size of the web part changes to the native size of the image every time it cycles to a new image. Um, in case all of your images aren't the same or similar sizes, right? But I'm gonna leave it in custom width and then you can play with the width and height depending on you know, what you need. A maximum number of slides, you can cap it, leave it blank, and then delay in microseconds. Every thousand seconds is one microsecond, so this is seven seconds, I believe. For the carousel theme, you can have it be your SharePoint theme. This is to match. Or you can do a custom color and use our little color boxer thingy here to define your own uh, custom color. But I'm just gonna leave it on the default. Okay, then we hit save. And then we will republish. And then we'll see our web part. Here you can see the carousel that we were just looking at in the library view. So it's cycling through the images every seven seconds with the dimensions that we gave it and the theme that we gave it. Um, this image that we gave a link to, or that had a link rather, if you click on the image, it's gonna pop open that in a new tab like we told it to. Um, you're able to cycle through the image manually with the arrows on the images, backward and forward. 
Uh, also, you can jump from one image to another way down the line using the little bubbles on the bottom. We also have the option to pause the carousel slider. And again, we can have multiple carousels on a page if you wanted to use it on a dashboard in multiple different ways. So that wraps up our review of our bamboo carousel web part. If you saw our previous carousel web part, this is pretty much a complete rebuild uh, from what we used to have. So there's a lot of new functionality and features and it's just a lot more smooth of an experience. So if you want to check out Carousel or any of our other products, you can always head over to www.bamboosolutions and get a free trial. Try it out. See if you like it. Thanks.